has to shut the door. So just remind the loud person you need to shut the door. Okay. Emily! Shut the door when you come down. Oh, wow. Okay, so watch out for the fence system because I'm putting up a fence down here. And I'll explain a little reason why I'm going to... And I'll talk for a little bit while we... Uh, So don't touch it if it's, if it's copper. The shiny silver pipe is going to be electrical. The floating around flexible tubing is communication. And we're going to run into different types of utilities down here as we go. Everything is designed to move in the tunnel system. And so if we have an earthquake, everything has giant loops in it, and it's on hangers that go back, can sway back and forth. Okay, so the original arroyo is this deep. This is about 30 feet down. And if you can imagine, this arroyo went all the way up to the base of the hill, and you had the water run. People have hit their heads and put little markers here. Okay, try not to hit your heads on the fluorescent tubes for the tall people. And this is kind of the feel of the tunnel system here. It's nice and warm. Kind of feels like you're in Hawaii without the view. <laughs> And this is a newer type of insulation for the steam. If you touch it, it's actually going to be pretty warm. It's not going to burn your hand, but but if you can imagine, that's that's encompassing the steam. And eventually, that could be pretty hot if it was just bare copper. Building. And so, if you can imagine, a wood frame building has an attic space that's underneath, and that's to run utilities. This is the same design concept, but for a much larger building. And so it's all designed specifically to run utilities underneath to make it easier to maintain. The large columns we're going to see here on the right hand side are actually the structure. And then watch your heads. There's going to be some loose sheet metal here on the right hand side. And then we're going to come to our first junction here. So once again, this is a building here, that direction, and we're going to come to a T, a fork in the road. And so for the, when you get down to this point here, just watch, we're going, to, we're going to walk over a couple pieces of pipe. If we go down south, we're going to go down into the court of science. Eventually we would end up at CHS. And if you took a right-hand turn, you'd end up in Reagan Hospital. And eventually the tunnel system ends up at Poly Pavilion. If we go this direction here, now once again, this isn't my staff who writes this, these directions <laughs> here. Uh, these are your peers. But if we go down this direction, we end up in between Royce and Powell. And if, so we're going to go this direction, and we're going to go north. downward slope and we have another pipe hi Claudia how you doing I'm in the tunnel system It's at Dodd Hall, right in the front of Dodd Hall. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. What is that space going? We'll find out. Okay, so this is this is the first building that we've entered. We passed under one building, so we can all move out here because we're not going to go back to that door again. Okay, so just from a, an orientation standpoint, that was. So we're going to be walking on an angle. So it's going to be unusual at first, but we'll get used to it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I thought it was a spider. <laughs> I see the light. Water, and we're it's actually 
goes through the pump system, brings up to the same water pressure, and sends it on. Same thing going back the other direction. So with every type of system you have, whether it's electrical, water, after a certain distance, there's a voltage drop, there's a water pressure drop, you take it through a transformer, you take it through a pump station, you send it, and you keep sending it off. And that's what this is doing. Okay, what, what building are we in? What? Uh, the college? No. We're in a YRL. We're a Young Research Library. The unique thing about this particular mechanical room, which we're going to take a look at, we have two people sharing the same space. We have the facilities people, and we have the library. And what you're going to see when we get beyond those doors doesn't look pretty. <laughs> when you have two people share any one given space, unless you have a really good roommate, nobody takes responsibility for keeping it clean. This isn't the best environment to store your books and manuscripts. And so, we're going to go down this direction. And so at times we're recycling books out of the system because they're just no longer being used. But at other times we have full libraries that are just being stored here. So this is the this is the Wayland Hand collection. And he's probably not too happy that his books are being stored down here. Okay, so I got facilities people down here. I have librarians down here, and I also have a very large construction project going on upstairs to refurbish the library. And so between the three of them, they're not throwing away insulator, have it re-insulated. started in the 50s, so we have the Cold War after World War II. We're afraid that the Soviet Union is going to bomb us, and so we decide to build bomb shelters because everybody's paranoid. That's happening throughout the United States. And so everywhere where there's a basement, they designate bomb shelters. So if you can imagine, in every building at UCLA, you have these bomb shelters. And in elementary school, once a month, you have this siren go off, and you get underneath your desk because you're doing these bomb drills. In modern day warfare, not going to help you too much. Nuclear warfare, not going to help you be down here. And so, these are not bomb shelters anymore, but it seemed to fit okay for the props department, so I just left it up. Everywhere else on campus, I've taken it down. Okay? And this is going to be between every access point. And so we'd be entering into carpet, just like a normal suite. They'd probably wonder who we were. But they never, see, they never seem to stop and ask me when I walk through there. OK, well, we're going to go down here because when I want to enter, I want to exit through a mechanical room into a hallway and then to a building. We don't, we don't look obvious that we were in the tunnel system. So anyways, I end the tour in Campbell Hall for several reasons. So who's the sociology major? Was there a sociology major here? No? Anyways, do you know what's special about Campbell Hall? From a historical standpoint, it was the students took it over. <laughs> yeah. So, so what happened in the 70s is we had two people that were killed there. So you have the 60s revolution going on, drugs, different things. But you also have a Black Panther party, and you had two people from the Black Panther party that were killed inside that building. And so there's a rock that 
that memorializes them there. But once again, we have a clash between police and students that didn't quite go right. And so we've seen that in our, in our recent history, not only here, but we see it at other, other uh, universities. The basic direction for our police department is to let people protest. As long as they're not damaging the buildings, to let them protest. We don't want anything to happen like UC Davis, where they're getting pepper sprayed, or anybody getting injured. And so, in your lifetime here, that building's been taken over one time. And I think that happened two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, when Something they, like that. When, when they, they raised, the, when they raised yeah. the hikes one of those times. And so, basically, the students have locked themselves in, and they think that they're locked in and they're taking over the building. But in reality, the tunnel system <laughs> allows the police department to go in there whenever they want to. <laughs> and so, typically, we let them protest. And what happened in that case, we sent the fire marshal in there, they opened the door, and they all ran out. <laughs> and so we didn't prosecute anybody, and that's really the goal here. The goal here is from an educational standpoint, now is the time to be active, express your opinions, get involved, and you know, do as, you know, as little damage as possible. Anyway, so we're going to go down this direction. Thank you. 